Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf and welcome to the $30 Used Bin Mystery Box Challenge. Before we get into the action, we're gonna get into the discs we picked for each other. So I was pretty nice to Taylor uh, when I popped into Basket Case to pick these bad boys up. Um, really only one true, I guess, meme disc. The other one, there's, there's another meme disc, but it's actually still pretty usable, so I don't think it's really uh, too much of a meme. But we'll start with the first one, which is the meme disc. That's gonna be the Rolo. Uh, it's pretty windy out here. I don't know that there's gonna be a whole lot of use for rolling, but he might find it on a couple holes. There's some longer ones that it definitely can be used on. Um, next, probably more usable, we've got the Gateway Discs Chief. So flight number is 3302. Good approach disc, probably what he's gonna be using as his putter today. Though I know you can use the Rolo as a putter, so I don't know, we'll see what he does. And then lastly, kind of also a mean disc, but also not, Champion Groove. By numbers 13, 6, negative 2, 2. I think he's gonna probably think this is flippier than what it actually is, and it's gonna surprise him, and it'll be a good time. People will laugh, we'll have fun. But yeah, those are the three discs I got for Taylor. I'll let him uh, intro his disc for me. Now, as Jacob might have or might have not mentioned, we were not with each other when we picked out each other's discs. I've got him a towel full of goodies. This will be his putting putter. This is going to be a very beat in sticker says DX type plastic challenger and it feels awful. Then when next we've got a mid range here. This is an AGL Magnolia. This is actually, it actually feels pretty good. It's in a baseline type plastic. And this is the one that I got him that I feel like is actually gonna be usable because we weren't too kind to him on the other ones. Maybe we were because I have next his fairway driver which is a very old Discraft Elite Z Express understable long driver. We'll see about that. And then last but certainly not least, and the disc golf gods have blessed us with a windy day because I cannot wait for him to throw this 152 gram Blizzard Wraith. Could be a bomber, could just go absolutely nowhere. Who knows? Let's get over to hole one. All right, the only other rule before we get into this is you do have to throw each of the discs at least once. Uh, past that point, you can rely on whatever disc works for you today. Another thing to note, a lot of the pars out here are pretty wild. Uh, you'll see that as we get further into the course, but starting on hole one, 360 foot par four, plays down and around the corner, so you gotta beat this. There's a pond on the right, so if you try to go over the top, sometimes you can find yourself in it. I think the only move to start us off is gonna be throwing this uh, factory second Champ Wraith, 152 grams on a forehand. Um, I'm scared, but it's better I find it out now with the tailwind. Oh, mama. That's actually, I mean, it was, a, it was a little flippier than what I was expecting it to be, but it still fought out like I wanted it to. I got two options at my disposal. I either want to just lay down a roller, try to get around the corner, or just kind of air this thing out on the atmost hyzer that I can to hopefully not go that way and take advantage of this turn. So we're just gonna see what happens. Either option I think is pretty good. Oh, she that could be good. great. I mean, roll out a little bit. Oh, there it is. It said hello. Lives up to its name, a Rolo. Not a bad position to be in. We're gonna use the uh, Gateway Chief. Came up short. Oh. That's all right. Shall we? Maybe? Nope. Still a tap in though. Couple of tap skis. Few of them. Roll low putt. Guys, I called it when I introed the disc. Some people are weird and will putt with the Rollo. This thing's gonna see some action today. I'm gonna do some wonky stuff with it I've never done with other discs, so I'm actually pretty stoked I've got this in my repertoire. As you guys know, putting struggles have continued, so maybe this uh, challenger's the solution. Hold to a whopping par four at a whopping 344 feet. Way up there, not too far. Um, real quick, because I, it looks like you're gonna throw the groove. Um, can you give me a power grip feel test? Um, it feels like a combination of a cinder block with a power grip. And then it just feels like something in my life is missing because of this groove in the wing. <laughs> Fair enough. For anybody that purposely throws these and bags these. I want to know who you are, 
with a full name and address because I might send this one to you after we're done with it. If you're an avid groove thrower, holler at your boy because this could be yours. Tailwind. I don't know if these are supposed to be overstable, understable. I'm just going to throw it like I throw any of my normal distance drivers. So he's going to be pleasant. Which is lucky. Oh, baby. That thing comes out fast. And that is more overstable. Well, we do have a little bit of tailwind before. Negative 2 2. I didn't act like it. Got a little bit of a tailwind. I can't think of a better time to throw the Elite Z Express understable long driver. Um, field test, I'd say it's probably a seven speed. It says Discraft, so maybe it was made by Discraft. I don't know. We'll go with it. Oh, yeah, hooked up nice. Honestly, oh, it's gonna fade. That honestly flies a lot like my Leopard 3. Dude, that was actually pretty good. All right, we got every bit of the distance. The only thing is we're 80 feet right of the pin. So, see if we can hit a banger with a Gateway Chief. Things. You just don't love them enough, honestly. Nah. Uh, Taylor, you're still out. Yeah, very still out. Um, I don't think I'm at a disadvantage putting with the premium plastic because it's all about the archer, not the arrows. I disagree. My PA3s suck. It's the archer, bud. I mean, that came out clean. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it is the putters that are the problem. You know, it could be a special case that could be for you. Two dollars, baby. Taylor and I absolutely shredding right now. Got an eagle on the board already. Looking at another one. Hole three, 545 foot par five. Pro Tour players probably licking their chops right now at that albatross. But for us, that's just a shot right out there. And then an upshot. And then we make our putt and we take an eagle and move on. Touching on the rules real quick for a second. Like you don't have to throw all the discs in order. So like I don't have to throw the AGL mid range right now. I don't have to throw the challenger yet. We'll get to a couple holes where I feel like that's uh, appropriate. For right now, I'm gonna go back to this Wraith and just mash it on some hyzer. Oh, baby. That could be really good. Might be obstructed from the bush. Oh, yeah. Yep, it came out. Got a hole 375 feet. That rate's, not, my distance. That rate's not supposed to be good, dude. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I've got to go back to the groove, and I'm just going to try to pump this on a max distance line. Big Anheuser. <sighs> I think that's the way to go. Yeah, I think it is. Whether I execute it or not is up in the air, like what this disc is about to be. You got past the bush. Which Important. is always a plus. Yeah. Kind of skippy out here. We're in range for the Albatross. This thing's a little bit more stable than anticipated. So we're gonna hang it out a little bit to the right, just give it an opportunity. If we go long, so be it. I like it. And the wind's killing it. <laughs> yeah, it just dropped it out of the That's air. Just playing golf right there. All right, we're gonna try something a little different. Normally I would throw the uh, Challenger, but I think so that it can stay in the bag. I don't wanna beat it up too much by hitting the metal. Uh, so we're gonna go AGL, Magnolia. Fade. Oh my, that's deep. You know, that feels like a dog chew toy. I'm not even gonna lie. Whatever you did to that plastic AGL, it's a sin. All right, big time challenger putt. Okay, it's uh, the PA3s have got to come out of the bag. I'm sorry, Nolan, they just suck, dude. You're onto something. Oh, and the basket, Chiefy. Oh, what? <laughs> In the heck was that reaction? <laughs> it said, <laughs> bottom of the basket immediately. I think there was a glitch in the matrix. I saw it hit the chains and next thing I saw it was just chilling in the basket. That was, that was a little awkward. All right guys, hole four, par four, 329 feet. There's only one obstacle in your way, but you'd be surprised at how many times that obstacle takes the soles of some discs. I'm gonna go with a funsy line here. We're going roller, hyzer flip left and see if magic can happen. Please let magic happen. That looks like magic. That, thing that is looks so incredible. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure that's parked. Dude, I can't see from here. The Rolo is superbly goaded. That was, that's one of the nastiest shots I've thrown in a while. I think of all the discs, um, if I could get rid of one, this would be it. So we're gonna try to throw it right now off the tee so I never have to throw it again. Back to the uh, AGL Magnolia. 
gonna play a hyzer on the right hand side of the tree and hopefully put it close. I sent it. It's looking good. Might be short, I can't tell from here. Hey, but with how that putting's looking like with that challenger, that is, in fact, no challenge for you, Jacob. It's in the basket. Yeah, tap in, that's what we say. Holy smokes, the Rolo. Went deep. A little too deep. Well, it was bound to happen. I believe it's still me. Cool. That is a very naughty word. Don't do that, people. All right, I feel like the more I miss with this thing, the, the less confident I'm going to be. Luckily, you made it. Luckily, it's, you know, it's still a birdie. Technically, a birdie. All right, if you guys are vibing with these discs right now, let me know in the comments down below if I should play the next leveling up with just these four discs. All right, hole five, 290 foot par three. First par three on the course, by the way. Right out there, out by the trees. You may not be able to see the basket because the sun is uh, setting. Got a little bit of a headwind. I still have to throw the challenger off the tee, but there's a hole coming up that'll be great for. Um, we're gonna go back to the unfortunate disc choice here. I think it's the best option. Oh, just park the basket again. Kind of nasty. The disc is good, I just hate how it feels. I was gonna say, you're talking so much trash on that, but it is money right now. There is another fun line here with the Rolo swinging it out big left again. But I think I'm gonna trust my instincts and just go with the groove and play the boring hyzer shot because I've got plans for the Rolo and the Chief coming up on a couple other holes. I'm excited. Doodle. I've not thrown that disc good one time. That's a good disc choice right there, Jacob. Well played. All right, so I've lost full confidence in the Chief from this kind of distance. So it's just going to be my mini marker for this putt. We're going to go with the MVP of the round so far. Roll low putt. I imagine I can just hit this thing flat and let it do what it do. Honestly? You know, that's a pretty good bid. Like, I wanted to put on an Annie, and then I thought real quick. I was like, this thing's very understable, but it's not going to turn that much. It did, but it actually came back a little bit. And I mean, I when it's that slow, it's it's going to want to fade either way. I, I've lost full confidence in that disc putting with it, too. I'm in shambles. That's probably the first bad putt with that disc. Still in the basket, unlike my PA3s. You're on a heater with that Challenger. It did it again. What is wrong with that disc? That disc has some like magical weird voodoo going on with it. This thing doesn't like being putted with. It's just instantly in the bottom of the basket. So I just noticed something. Is this like OS behind it? Like kind of disc craft style? Is this a Chief OS? Do they make a Chief SS? I don't I'm curious. Know. Gateway fans, let us know. Cause it looks like it says it's a Chief OS. Hmm. Not sure. Hole six, par three, 250 feet. There used to be a tree right here you have to worry about and almost one right in the middle so this shot has gotten extremely easy you just want to throw whatever line you want to throw and put it under the basket or put it in the basket ace opportunity wasn't the first hole i envisioned throwing this challenger on but it's a good opportunity either way 250 feet right out there so see how it goes Flip up more. Oh, that's gonna be really short it goes down but not that down all right <clears throat> this was one of the three holes I envisioned throwing the Chief or Chief OS on. Pretty much throw it out there, a little Anheuser, because this is a little bit stable for a throwing putter, so we're going for all the beans here. Clipped. It's stable! Well, you might be just as far away as I am. That's such an awkward disc. Like, I don't know. I, no words for that thing. It's basically to keep myself Paul Macbeth. I actually haven't missed a... Uh, bird somewhere on the course so far so this is important because this is a par three are oh, you garbage okay never mind we suck oh good catch by the basket and it didn't do the glitch effect it, it, i don't think it did the glitch thing because uh the chains had to help that one go in showing a little bit of redemption right now chief os might bag it probably not <laughs> nice and sloshy up here Oh, you know, you 
you've been kicked out of the bag immediately if you didn't go in the basket. <laughs> With a potential spit, I was just, yep, it's gone. All right, hole seven, par three, 338 feet. You can see the band hanging over the hill over there. A couple of different options. Um, you can see, you can go backhand, hyzer, you can go up the middle, you can go forehand on the left-hand side. It's Taylor's box, let's see how he does it. I think we're just completely over the groove. We're just gonna send a roll low. Know it's gonna turn really quick, so we're gonna start it over there. That's gonna cut. Oh, baby. Into the neighborhood. Oh, it stopped. Yeah, people are gonna think Santa Claus came early when I'm throwing my second shot from near their chimney. All right, the only thing that makes sense to me is back to the uh, fartery second. Right, right hand side, Heiser. God, what is <laughs> I mean, it's up there, but I don't know why that was so funny to me. I just, I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> People actually came out of their garage to see what hit their house. Could be good, could be bad. It's kind of just all right. Oh boy. The walk of shame this is where the rain starts falling on him. He's thinking of his decisions that he just did. It's not good down here. Okay. Jeez. He's cold. What an up and down, am I right? Depending on whether you're one or two behind me kind of determines what I want to do right now. Because I could totally just lay it up on top of the basket. And it looks extremely appealing right now, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Okay. If it would have been, if it would have just popped out, then it would have been, you know, poetry in motion, and I would have deserved it, but it didn't happen. Hole eight, par three, a whopping 162 feet. Kind of a no-brainer at this point, what we're going with off the tee. That is the groove. I'm gonna test it on a little fan grip, just a little <laughs> into the basket. Could you imagine groove? Ace? I sure can. And it's gone. Do it. Oy. Good enough. All right, got a challenger going up the middle. Hopefully I'll ace and the football crowd watching yonder will scream all at once. Jacob said he was getting an ace, so I want to get as good of a frame as possible for this bad boy. I believe in him. What the world? Free tea, boys. <laughs> he scared that bird or duck out of his home. First you disturbed the fishies, now you're disturbing the birds. What kind of human are you? Sadly, with the uh, Challenger gone, the only thing I have left to putt with is the AGL. I don't know why I call it that. It's just, Magnolia is a stupid name. Quick thought, man. What a, what a fun little rain with the Challenger you had, you know? Yeah, it'll be missed. RIP Challenger. <laughs> You're on a heater with that challenger. Oh, it's kind of goaded, and then it freaking faded out. First putt with the groove. Hole nine, last hole on the course. 206 foot par three. If you've stuck with us this long, I do appreciate you. Um, we are currently on the hunt for a thousand subscribers, and we're just a couple hundred away. So if you want to join the fun, subscribe, like the video, comment, let us know your thoughts. I'll lead us off even though I took the worst score. Uh, we're gonna go forehand with the Z Express Discraft Understable Long Driver. As horrible as that shot was, it actually had a chance. That came out of my hand so wobbly. I don't know if you've had a bad shot with it though. Maybe like a, not a clean shot, but everything's been good results with that disc. Yeah. We are going to do the unthinkable and go Rolo forehand. Now, if I don't hit this properly, it's probably going in that pond. I don't plan on pulling a Jacob. So we're gonna give it a little power to make sure this thing turns. Let's channel my inner Jeremy Coling. Oh yeah. 
Oh my gosh. That was nasty, but I'm also probably in that little ditch filled with mud and snakes and... Loki goaded with a Rolo? I don't know, man. Just call me Taylor Rolo. There's only one way to cap off my round at this course here. That is straddle putt one with the groove. Heat your heart out, Scott Adams. That had every opportunity to do everything it needed to do, and it didn't. I'd like to see one of you guys put with a groove, okay? If you would like to play in the $2 Challenger, right there. Oh, look at the little duck. There we go. Get your limp biscuit on and keep rolling, baby. You still out? Cool. Babe! Loses the challenger, and all of a sudden he's in shambles. Yeah, this is like, it's just a 918 moment. You know? For sure. You have a great round going, you hit like halfway through, you realize you were never good at disc golf blow up, probably lose. I have no idea what the scores are at this point, but uh, we'll let Taylor tap it out and finish this off. One more time with the Chief. <laughs> I elect to uh, re-putt. There we go. Rolo's a true winner. It is. Out of all of them, I think 98% of people would choose the Rolo out of these discs. Those other 2% are psychos and gateway fanatics. Okay, before we wrap things up, I'll let you guys go. Quick little thoughts on the disc that we used today. Magnolia, trash. Z Express disc craft long range, understable long driver, pretty good. This, usable. Obviously we have the Gateway Chief OS, whatever you guys want to call this. Gateway fans, you keep doing you because I'm not sure there's too many other people are going to be bagging stuff like this. Didn't like it. Groove, as stated before, this thing's made for psychopaths and whoever enjoys this, you need to be in an insane asylum. But the GOAT of the video for me is and always will be the Rolo. All right, but that's going to be a wrap. I appreciate you guys joining us again. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.